All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, I hope you're all well. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or any of those social platforms, firstly, thank you. Uh, secondly, you may have seen a little while ago at the start of NAMM, I actually announced that I am an official Ernie Ball Music Man artist now. So that's a really, really awesome, awesome, exciting thing to announce. Uh, I'm hugely honored, humbled and thankful that Brian and all the guys at Ernie Ball Music Man believe in me as an artist enough to bring me into the family. And not only do they want to bring me into the family as an artist of both the guitars and the strings, but on top of that, we're going to be developing guitars together, starting with this first one. This is an artist model, Music Man Sabre, in a custom finish with my own pickups, a custom neck profile. I'll get into the details shortly. It's awesome to be able to say this and I've been meaning to shoot this video for a little while but I've just been busy catching up on different projects and things post NAM. so I wanted to wait to the right time to sit down in the studio and film it for you guys so we can talk about the guitar and everything that's going on but I just want to say a huge thank you to Brian and all those guys uh, because and Drew and Tim and Derek and all the people at Ernie Ball Music Man who I've been working with. I also just want to say a huge thank you to all you guys for your overwhelming support and excitement towards this announcement. Could not believe it when we announced it on socials, how many people were, were happy for me and, and, and just excited and some of, the, some of the kind words and it was just overwhelming. So thank you guys for, for that. Really was a bit of, uh, I didn't really know what to say. I was just completely blown away with all the positivity. So. It's just been hugely positive all round, and the guys at Music Man are super happy as well. They couldn't be more excited to get working on this guitar, so yeah, thank you.
When I flew out to Nam, uh, myself and my good friend Max Taylor Grant, who you may know, he's the artist relations guy for Neural DSP, we took a drive up to San Luis Obispo in California, which is where the music man Ernie Ball Factory is based. And we got to look around the factory, got to meet the team, got to actually meet Brian and Drew in person. You know, hang out, go to dinner, have some beers, just do bro hang stuff, and it was just it was great. The, the original idea was to arrive and talk about what the guitar should be, and I'd sort of sent a kind of rough spec, an idea that would have been cool, but I was not expecting to be handed uh, the first prototype of the guitar when I arrived. Um, I turned up and went into the room and, you know, gave Brian a hug, said it's great to meet you, gave Drew a hug, said it's great to meet you, and then all of a sudden he turned around and handed me this, which is the, the first prototype of the first guitar I'm making with Music Man, which is an artist model, Sabre. What's unique about this one, I guess, firstly, it's satin finish. It's got a custom finish. This is like a, 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 like a charcoal burst. You may have noticed I've got a spoon cut on the front. This is actually hand carved by Drew because for me, I needed that extra upper fret access. On top of this absolutely awesome flame roasted, ma roasted flamed maple neck with a custom neck profile, which I'll talk about shortly. It's loaded with my uh, bare knuckle silos, uh, as you can see. On the back, it's got a nice translucent sort of charcoal burst and that flame neck. I'll do close up so you can see this in all its glory. But it's an absolutely beautiful guitar and I was not expecting to be handed this at the time of arrival. What else is unique about this? Well, firstly, I wanna say uh, the neck is, is, is unique in the sense that if, if you guys are familiar with Music Man guitars, their necks are always stunningly made, like the fretboard edges are beautiful and they feel really good with this sort of slightly oiled, um, almost unfinished feel, which I absolutely love. It just, it feels immense. Um, one thing I would say is that I've got massive hands and I've got my JP15 and I've had, uh, I also have a Sabre as well. And one thing I've found is that the neck is uh, quite small for my hands, <clears throat> especially the JP15. It's a beautiful guitar, but the neck is really thin. So I'd asked, do they do thicker necks? And they said, well, yeah, we can do a thicker neck. Because I, I, one, one, of the strats, one of the guitars I always play is my Fender Strat and it's got a huge neck on it. So I've just become used to that. Same with you know, my old baritones and stuff like that. They've got fat necks. So I'm just used to that because my palms are really big and you know, I wanna feel a chunk of wood when I'm playing you know, that I can wrap my hands around and, and really dig in. So they made this awesome neck profile. And one of the interesting things were, I sort of said, I like the neck to be nice and fat near the bottom where I'm riffing, but when I'm playing lead, I want it to thin out a little bit, flatten out and thin out a little bit so that there's less wood to get in the way, which as far as I understand it is uncommon in the world of neck profiles. It's usually the other way around where it's thinner here and fatter here. But for me, I, didn't know this and in my head I'm like well it makes sense that if I want to play riffs I want a fatter neck so I can you know hold and dig in but then when I'm shredding and playing leads and stuff I want it to be thinner so Drew actually hand carved this neck now it's super subtle like I don't know if you'd be able to even tell on video but if you were to hold the guitar you can certainly feel it's fatter here and slightly thinner here and I want to say the neck profile is like late 50s kind of Les Pauly kind of vibe it's fat you know, it's not stupidly fat, but it's, it's fatter than I think any of the other Music Man guitars. So that's a huge plus for me because it, and honestly, when he handed it to me and I started playing, I was like, this neck profile is absolutely perfect for me. It works so well. Fretboard edges are great. Stainless steel frets.
The satin finish is great because personally gloss finishes are a little bit cumbersome for me because I sweat a lot when I play on stage. So I don't want my hand to stick, my arm to stick on that. And they're harder to keep clean when you sweat and you can see all the dripping sweat and it's pretty harsh. I wanted this flame top with like a translucent sort of charcoal burst uh, with gold hardware. And it looks really classy. It's a beautiful looking guitar. Now, how it's probably gonna change, well firstly, like I said, we've got the spoon cut here. We're gonna add more of a carve on the back because for me, the heel joint, as you can see on camera, and I'll do close up, the heel joint is pretty thick. So it means when I'm playing up at the top, it's quite a chunk of wood along with that neck plate in, in my hand. And I want a little bit less of that so the upper fret access is, is, is better for me. On top of the fact, we'll probably put a little carve on the back here as well. I'm not sure how it'll be, but it, there'll be some sort of carve here. I know the Jason Richardson lower horn is sort of thinned out, so it might take influence from that, I'm not sure yet. But that's basically what's going on there. Um, I'm gonna try a different color. I'm actually gonna change the color on the next prototype. And the bridge is also gonna change. It's gonna be a similar kind of bridge to what's on the JP15. So without this sort of chamfered edge, it's gonna be sort of lower profile and it's not gonna be piezo, but it's gonna be lower profile. It's gonna have a push-push coil split pot on it. At the minute, it's just volume and tone. And then the five-way works very similar to other guitars. I know that PRS do it. My old Chapman did it as well, where you've got bridge. Position two is like two of the coil, uh, a coil each. Middle is both pickups, then it's two different coils, and then it's neck. So you get a nice amount of tones out of the guitar. It's got locking Charla tuners, which feel really good. I really like them. I really like them on the JP15 when I first tried them, and they're awesome. And yeah, generally, it's a good weight as well. It's just an awesome guitar. I'm really, really happy with it. But it's that thing where you get the first prototype and you fall in love and you're like, hmm, I wonder how we could change this maybe, make it a little bit more unique, keep developing it, because this was based off an email idea that I had for what I think would be cool for an artist model. So with any look, there'll be something to show at NAMM. And also, as far as I understand it, we're, we're looking at hopefully doing a Sterling version because I understand and I am aware that Music Man guitars aren't the cheapest guitars out there because they're built uh, out in America to really high quality and really high standards. And if you know anything about Music Man, you, you've got a Music Man JP guitar or the Jason Richardson or the St. Vincent or the Albert Lee or anything like that, you know that they're not the cheapest guitar, so I completely appreciate that. But hopefully we'll be able to arrange doing something with Sterling so that it'll be a more affordable version for those on a tighter budget. The artist model that you will be able to get full fat will have the bare knuckles in it. It will have all the bells and whistles with this artist model. So that's basically the first prototype. Now, I wanna keep you guys in the loop when the next prototype arrives, and we can talk about that and I'll film a video, but this was just a long overdue video about this particular guitar and uh, my gratitude and gratefulness towards Ernie Ball Music Man for, for even wanting to work with me on this. I just think it's insane, so I'm super thankful. I've been using the guitar since I got it for a bunch of different recordings and uh, I used it at the NAMM show for all my demonstrations. Really happy with how it sounds and it plays so well. I'm gonna take this out on tour with Frog Leap and the new band that's currently in the works. So that's a bit about the guitar and how we're gonna develop it, what's gonna happen next. As I said, I'll, as soon as I get the second prototype, I'll be sharing it with you guys so you can see what it looks like and how it sounds and how it's changed. I wanna keep you guys in the loop with the process.
Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, I will keep you guys in the loop with all future updates of this guitar and how everything's going. But as for this video, I've been Rabia. Thank you all very much for watching. Like, subscribe and share, and I will see you all very soon.